Welcome to SAP Business One from Navigator. Let's talk about how easy it is to enter a sales order into the system. Simply populate the customer's information here by their code or by their name. Do the same thing on the items they're interested in. In this case, it's uh, IBM printers. Just use my control key, select the printers that I'd like to have on the order for the customer. We can put a subtotal on those IBMs. Looks like we have an option here for an upsell. Would you like to purchase some additional paper? We'll go ahead and add that into the system. And uh, subtotal that. The other thing we can do is pull up our order history. Get a complete history of everything that Microchips has purchased from us. We can see the sales orders here. We can drill down to the order. We can also view the items in particular right here. Very easily, we can just come over and import one of their previous orders into this one. So you're interested in ordering the same thing again. And uh, the other thing that we can do is come on down here and take a look at what's available to promise. In this case, you can see what's coming in from our vendors, what's going out to our customers by what's on order, what's committed. The bottom line is you can see we have plenty available, so we can go ahead and fill this order. The other thing we can take a look at here for the customer is the color of the printer. In this case, it's black, uh, but we do have a note here. It's available in pink as well, so that's good to know. The other thing we can do is check out our last purchase price on an item. Let's go on down and take a look at that. Our last price is here. You can see that uh, we've offered up the same price pretty much every time, except we did offer a higher price there at one point, but also offered up discounts. The other thing we can check out while we're here is the gross profit of our order. Looks like everything is positive except for that printer pack uh, that we put in there as a substitution. Compared to our standard cost, we'll actually lose 5 bucks. Let's go back in and adjust that uh, on this item here. Let's update our gross profit here before we add the order. Looks like, yeah, we're good to go on the gross profit. What we'll do is uh, plug in a delivery date of today, and we can get this order shipped right out. And while you've got the customer on the phone, they may also ask some additional questions, like, uh, I want to know if you can tell me more about my previous orders. Uh, very easily, we can come over here and grab the customer's name, drag and drop the sales order, and boom, now you got a list of all the orders that you've had with this customer. It's a live report with drill downs. You can sort it by the period uh, that it was open in or closed and so forth. You can also filter it. And if you want to see the specific items that were on those orders, just grab the code again, drag and drop the details. You can also export it to Excel in a matter of just a few clicks. So it's just that easy to get into SAP and enter an order do some drag and relate or ad hoc reporting to let the customer know what they purchased from us in the past, and then even export it out to Excel, the complete integration of SAP.